Hey everybody, it's Missy, and I'm back today with my third layout for my guest design spot over at Pretty Little Studio, and I'm still using the Here Comes the Sun collection. For this layout, I wanted to focus on these really cute succulents and cactus stickers because they are so cute. I love the green. I'm going to scrap this really cute black and white picture of my daughter, and I went through several of the 6x6 six six papers, and I pulled out the one with the green a light blue and white striped and then some with black and white and gray tones to them because I thought I would try to make a layout with no pink and I know I've done this before but um, if you've seen this collection then you know that there's a ton of pink it's so beautiful but I thought I would take a different route for this one and focus on sort of more of a natural look I guess with more greens and a little bit of blue so what I'm gonna do here is just cut I guess maybe about a one inch strip from each of these papers and try to create something a little different and I'm just gonna make a little square here out of all of these strips and try to bring in some more of the green with some paints and some sprays here momentarily but I want to use these stickers I think they're so cute and even though these these succulents and plants um, they really don't have anything to do with my picture and that's okay I'm gonna bring in some die cuts here in a minute and I think this turns out really cute and I like how it looks and I'm usually the type that it's hard for me to use random things that don't necessarily pertain to my picture I'm getting better about embracing that and just going with the random and I think I did pretty well on this this is a cut file from the cut shop and I think it's called stuck on you and I've had it for a long time I thought I will probably never use a cactus on a layout well never say never because I'm gonna use a bunch of cactus cactus cacti I know I'm gonna say that wrong I don't think it's cactuses cacti more than one cactus how's that so anyway I'm gonna take some white gesso here and just do a lot of smudging with my fingers I'm gonna have my picture there on the left and so I like to have mixed media products kind of peeking out from behind it so I'm gonna make sure everything's stuck down I'm gonna fade away some of the color and patterns on those strips that you can still see now I did some machine stitching before I did anything else there once the gesso was dry I used uh, a light blue the green and a darker gray color thread just to kind of mix and match and you can see that better close up than you can here so I pulled out some of my green shimmers paints these are a couple of the creamies and I'm just gonna paint these cacti and I uh, just cut them on white cardstock and I chose these colors because they match the green in the stickers And I'm glad I finally did this because I think the cactus, cacti, oh gosh, I'm just saying that wrong the whole video. They are so cute, but you know, I don't ever really have anything that pertains to them. And I thought, you know what, I'm inspired by the colors and how pretty these stickers are. And I'm going to make them work on a page. And I'm so glad I did because they are adorable. I just want a couple of different shades here so I'm gonna add a little bit of a spray this is called well blew me down and it's sort of a bluish green aqua more of a blue tone to it and it's just gonna help shade give a couple of different shades of color here and I'm gonna use these as a layer behind my picture And this is a fun way to customize something an exact color that you need it and so uh, it pays to if you like to do mixed media it pays to have your watercolors because you can kind of mix and match and get almost any color you want and they they turned out to match the uh, the green strip at the bottom just perfectly so I was excited about how they turned out so I'm just gonna come in with some packaging and a little bit of the well blew me down so I'm gonna add in a little bit of blue tones here so the whole layouts not just green there's a lot of green in it but I wanted a little bit of blue as well and I like how this paint is going on on the strips because I've already stitched them down so I've already got some texture on there most of the time I'll do my mixed media first 
and then add the stitching, but I kind of went backwards this time, and it kind of gave it a different effect because it already created some more uh, textures and ridges in between each of the paper strips, and so the paper, or not the paper, the paint, it, it applied a little bit differently when I pressed it onto the paper from the packaging, if that made any sense. Either way, I liked how it turned out. So I'm just going to play around with the paints here. I'm going to keep bringing back the die cuts and the photo to make sure you can see everything behind it. You can see some of the splatters, and I love how that looks. I also added some silver spray as well, since I've got a lot of that darker gray going on. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of vellum as a little subtle layer behind my picture. Sometimes I use tissue paper. Sometimes I use vellum. It gives the same effect, but it's a little bit different. You know, the vellum's a little stiffer. The tissue paper is a lot thinner, and it's a little a bit more on, a, on the white side, and so it stands out a little bit more. But I like them both. So before I stick anything down, I'm going to add some thread behind the picture, and then I'm going to come in with these cute stickers. Now, these are clear stickers, and so I wanted you to be able to see them a little bit more. So I'm going to first stick them to white card stock because I didn't want to lose any of the richness of the color because if I just stuck them straight down on top of all that paint and the, the strips of paper they would blend right in and you wouldn't even be able to see what they were. So I'm going to take some time and fussy cut these out and now they're going to stay true to color because they're on a white background. And now sometimes it is cool to just stick the clear stickers on top of something else that's not white and they blend in and they create a really cool color and a really cool look. So it just depends on what you're going for. But I didn't want to lose the idea of the cactus and the succulents and the plants. I wanted them to pop off, pop off the page. So I got all those cut out. And now I'm going to just play around and decide where to put them. They're so cute. Now see that sticker, I'm going to stick right on top of there. And uh, you can see through it, but it's got words and you can still read it. And it still pops off the page. Okay, so I know everything is going to stay there on the left as far as the die cuts are concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue. I'm not going to glue every single edge down because I like the way it kind of curls up. And I like the way that gives dimension and just kind of looks like it's going to hug the picture, I guess you could say. So a lot of this now is just playing around with the embellishments and deciding what is going to go where. I did add some adhesive foam behind my picture to give it a little bit of lift. I, I think I change my mind a thousand times every time I do a layout. Um, I'm a very slow scrapper and I change my mind so many times and so I have to draw the line at how much I leave in the video because I know you don't want to spend two hours or longer watching me make this in real time because I'm, I'm pretty slow and uh, it takes me a while to make decisions sometimes so hopefully this isn't going too fast but like I said I'm just going through adding some stickers adding more die cuts these clouds are probably some of my favorite there's cloud stickers there's cloud die cuts and I'm gonna add a couple above the picture and then later I'm going to come in and just add some below as well and I love the fact that there's some of the clouds are outlined in black some of them are outlined in kind of a watercolor light blue they're so cute I wish I had a never-ending supply of these clouds because I think I could probably use them on every page and these little watercolor hearts they're so versatile and there's so many different sizes you could use those on just about any project And I get a lot of questions still about what kind of glue I'm using in my fine line bottle. And it is the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. And I always get it from Michaels. And the, the past several months, they, they still have it, but they have renamed it Scotch Tacky Glue. But it's the same thing. And um, it's wonderful. It never dries out. It's 
it's the perfect glue. I love it. I use it quite a lot. I fussy cut Remember with that sun from one of the 3x4 cards. I'm going to add in a flare button. And then my title is going to be Here Comes the Sun. And I love that die cut. The font is beautiful. I like the fact that it's black on white. It really stands out. And so I can, I feel like I can use Here Comes the Sun because I added a sun to the page. And I really like how it's coming together. I wanted to challenge myself to, to use products that aren't necessarily my normal thing. Um, I've never, like I said, I've never used cactus on my page before. And I wanted to challenge myself to do that. And I think it turned out cute. So I decided the bottom half needed a little something. So I'm going to recreate the same thing that I did above the picture with the clouds and the thread. And I'm just going to make another little cluster. And I know clouds aren't below everything in real life. They are up high with the sun. But hey, I like the way it looked. And sometimes it just works. I like it. And that's what, that's what counts, right? And these products just are so inspiring. I think I could create with this collection forever and just be happy because they're so pretty. Anyway, I'm going to add my journaling down there, perfect spot for it, and then I'm going to come in with a little bit more of a, a darker gray, silvery color for some splatters here. And I think that's going to wrap it up. I did add the date and I did some stitching through some of the clouds there, but I love how this turned out. I'm so excited to be the guest designer and I have another layout and video coming tomorrow. So make sure you check the Pretty Little Studio blog and you check back here on YouTube and my blog as well. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything, any of these products, anything at all. I had a great time making this and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I will see you guys again. Thank you so much for watching.